Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with my newest project. I talked about it in a previous video. I had spoken about how I was going to um, coffee dye the digital papers from the Summer Bees kit from my porch prints. So my idea was to print the kit first and then do the coffee dyeing, but what ended up happening is it ended up washing out so much of the color that I just I stopped what I was doing and just um, changed um, my plan a little bit. So what I did instead is um, yesterday I took this linen paper. I've showed this to you before. I think it's a linen paper, and I coffee dyed the linen paper. So let me just show you a little bit about what it looks like when it's coffee dyed. So it's got that great, um, it's got a, it's a good weight of paper and it has that sound that we love and then it's got that texture. So um, we got various, you know, uh, obvious various uh, results. The only thing I don't like, and I'm not sure why it does that, it's got the name of the paper. I think it's something more. I can't remember what it's called, but it's okay. It's it's not a big deal. So we get varied results. We get these crispy edges, which I absolutely love. And I'll talk more about that in a second, but um, that's kind of what I did. So I printed a lot. I mean, I copy dyed a lot, and then I went ahead and printed the kit on this paper so my printer was not happy um, it didn't break it or anything but I had to individually feed every page in because the printer didn't like it because it's not flat so let me just show you what it looks like just kind of as a stack of paper see that so it's um, it's it's crunchy it's thicker and the printer was not happy with me so anyway I printed the entire summer bees kit from my porch prints on the coffee dyed paper and um, this is one of the pages but I printed two to a page because I often like to use these to make pockets and tags and other things so I did that with a couple of pages so these are all um, ones that I did two to a page just so that I have that extra I also did do the um, little bits which are the um, why can't I think of it the fussy cuts <laughs> the fussy cuts so um, so typically I would run these I would do these in my silhouette but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hand cut them out because I don't know how I don't know that I'm in the space to play with the silhouette with this paper because I have to actually put this paper on my mat I might do it we'll see how it goes it's not gonna really matter I will just cut fussy cut those out not a big deal and same here so this one it printed on the side of the coffee dyed paper that didn't have as much um, as much uh, coffee so we're not really going to get that effect but I still like the um, the cream color of this I definitely like this uh, what's actually called ivory so I'm loving that and so let me just flip through and show you all the pages in the kit if you haven't checked out my porch prints you are missing out like big time the, their stuff is so incredible uh, you will not be disappointed so again more fussy cuts and you can see here my printer really didn't like this because we had some crispy edges here in the paper and um, so you know technically one could um, just take a coffee dyed digital and do the same thing and you wouldn't have this problem with the paper. I might try that just to see what is the difference um, because on the fussy cut pages we're going to lose all this beautiful edging that we get here but on the journal pages which we'll get to in a second um, those edges are going to show which is really really epic so more fussy cuts uh, pockets and library cards so you can see there's some images that it really kind of faded out because they were a little bit softer um, in their original form. So, but you can see the B is really pretty, even though it's it's pushed back and it's very muted out, which was what I was looking for, you guys. So so excited. So hold on one second because I'm gonna grab something behind me before I forget. So hold on. We may as well just show you what the plan is here. <laughs> so I will I will show you that stuff in just a quick second 
Um, so, and these are just more of the ephemera. So you can see we get some vibrancy, but yet we get that really grungy vintage look, which is what I really, really wanted. So again, ephemera, ephemera, so on and so forth. Some pockets, uh, coin envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. I love how this one turned out, even though it's really pushed back. But my idea with this is I also want to... Um, in the video where I talked about coffee dyeing and then doing some acrylic ink and some other stenciling and stuff, I decided not to do that, but instead I'm going to pull out my Distress Oxide inks or my Distress inks when I start working on this journal, and we're going to do some some grunging up using some inks, just some some distress inks, some just distress oxides and such. We might pull in some other things, but I want to be able to control the color and where it goes a little bit more than I can when I'm doing that process, when I'm actually coffee dyeing. I am hoping that that's make, making sense because like on a page like this that's really pushed back, I could bring in some purple and really pull out that original color out of there and give it a pop of a bright color um, as a contrast to the, the really grungy vintage look that we're getting here um, due to the way that I printed these. So I love this so much. Oh. So and you can see this one is, it must be a really, I didn't compare, but this must be a very brighter um, actual original. So there we go. So I'm just gonna flip through these really quick until we get to the journal pages. The pockets are amazing. Love those pockets. And I even love these pockets because you can see that just the vintage, what they've created in their digital, and you can see the honeycomb, but it's just really, really pushed back and muted, which I love. More pockets. Um, I love how the tabs turned out. Those are gonna be really fun. And then some tags and more ephemera. And look at that. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. I may do so another batch of coffee dyeing because I only have, um, how many pages do I have? I only have this many pages of, the, of all that coffee dyeing that I did. So I went through a lot of paper to do this. Um, so here we go. So this is one of the, the papers. So this is a journal paper. So these are the ones where the design is not is not split in half, which will make more sense in a second if you're unfamiliar with um, with uh, digital kits. But um, I love, love, love this one. I think it's just beautiful on this paper. Um, same with this one. So these are all just papers. Beautiful, beautiful papers. And this is the one that's just the honeycomb. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. Another one, and then this is the last one that is a journal page, or paper rather. And these are the journal pages. So I'll probably go and do, I'm thinking this is gonna be a two signature journal, so I may still pull a couple more. I didn't print all of the pages in the entire kit if I wasn't sure I d was gonna use them, especially when it comes to journal pages, but look at that. Epic, and look at the purple in this. I mean, it is so vibrant. So what will be cool is to come in with this and 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 grunge this up and bring some purple in here and accentuate that. So different from my other journal constructions, I am not going to bind these signatures into the journal until I have done everything to the pages that I want to. And, and we're going to do a lot of mixed media work. I'm going to bring you along for as much of it as I can. And then when we get, and that doesn't mean I'll probably put all the you know everything in in on, on the pages but I'll do a lot of that work before we put them in the signet in, into the cover so I haven't figured out the cover yet but <laughs> we'll get there so aren't these just stunning though love it love it love it and there and there and there so what I wanted to show you is I, I showed you the haul that I got from um, the estate sale that I went to um, this is not part of the haul but this is some gauze that isn't didn't respond or it turned out the way that I wanted it to um, it tears so let me just show you what this looks like so I'm gonna just tear it don't be alarmed I'm just gonna poke my finger in and tear it 
And so you get this ability to really pull this apart like that. That's going to be great for clusters and other um, layering techniques. So I did this, I coffee dyed it, and then I put some yellow ink in because I wanted to pull that in for this journal. So I've got like five little rolls of the gauze right there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And I did some coffee dyeing. I wasn't really impressed with this. I might, this is the stuff I got from the estate sale. So I did decide to coffee dye some of it. I'm not liking that really kind of grayed out brown on that. So I might do something different, but look at this. This is, I'm gonna use these pieces in this journal. It's gonna be absolutely epic. And if you watch that estate sale um, share, look at this, this was white. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. I think I want this to go on the spine somehow, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just dreaming. And I did iron all this stuff because it was really wrinkled after I got it all coffee dyed. But so just showing you really quick. This is the piece that I pulled off of um, before I coffee dyed it. I was using just the cream colored crocheted lace um, in my, um, when I finished up the, the, a tabbed envelope journal but I coffee dyed it afterwards and I just look at this it's just so gorgeous so and I love the smell and this piece this is kind of a heavy cotton it's going to make great pockets and things like that so I'm excited about that and then we've got more lace here that I coffee dyed and this one look at this is that just I just can't even believe how beautiful this is. My husband, um, I'm a week, today is a week um, from my, since I had my surgery and my husband took um, some of the grandkids and one of my daughters and her um, husband went um, on another camping backpacking trip. I can't do it because it cannot ex exert that much right now uh, for a couple of weeks. So I'm home alone for, um, the whole until Sunday and this is Thursday so, um, <laughs> so I'm kind of bummed about that but I thought maybe I'd look up an estate sale and see if I can hit a second one this weekend but anyway that's that and look at this stuff is this just and as I mentioned in the estate sale video the purse that whoever had this stuff she must have just cut stuff off of garments because you can see that this is cut off of something else but it's just absolutely gorgeous and how the coffee gets in there and just settles into that material and that thread is just gorgeous. And check this out. I know I'm so excited, you guys, but look at the grunge of this. I mean, it's just, it's just so beautiful. And I know you guys understand. Not everybody does. My husband sure, sure doesn't. <laughs> and then some vintage lace, which I like how that turned out this is another one that I love there's quite a bit here but again this will make really um these are just this is just so beautiful so beautiful crocheted trim again she must have cut it off of something and um and then there's this piece which I think is also really pretty and then that's another this is another piece of that it must have been like I don't know if it was like an armchair cover you know how they used to in the olden days Put these on the arms of their chair but I think I need to coffee dye it a different color dye it a different color because it's looking gray to me and then this was also cut off of something and I went ahead and coffee dyed it I'm not sure what I would use it for but look at that it's just so pretty just so pretty and then um, this one it turned out pretty light um, in comparison to some of the others but that is okay too and then this is the last piece. I'm not sure what this was. If you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear what you think this might have been. But um, I did coffee dye it. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. So now that my desk is a complete mess, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, I'm going to, um, well, I'm not letting you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to do all my fussy cutting, and I'm going to come back with a quick project just to get us going on this project. So I will see you in just a little bit. Okay, I am back with the project for um, the rest of the video for today. 
Um, I have just in front of me um, all of the papers that I have selected. I may make changes to the signatures. Right now I have seven pages in each. I want to show you this though. This is so epically cool. Look at that. So I printed this digital on an original coffee dyed mixed media paper from my stash. Look at that. That All that gold is from my paper. Oh, it's so epic. I love it. So all of this is printed on that coffee dyed linen paper. So I've got two signatures, seven pages right now. Um, there may be, I may go up to eight, I'm not sure. So just wanted to let you know that. And then these are the extras that I printed a lot and I tend to like to use these to make pockets and other things. So those are just extra. And then this is all the ephemera. I did cut out everything. What I realized is that even though I love the feel of this paper, it's very thin for what I'm used to. So I will probably be backing these with other coffee dyed paper. I know that that, that seems kind of nonsensical because it's beautiful on the back, but they're just not sturdy enough for my liking. So this is all of the little bits. And then I cut, I printed some with a four to a page, image, four images to a page, some with two images to a page, etc. But I'm not going to belabor that right now. I just thought I would show you what all I have here. I did find uh, from Calico Collage, I've got these bee themed words and phrases, so we're going to be using those as well. And then I also like to print when I'm getting ready to do a journal, I like to print some things on vellum. And so I've got this image on vellum, I've got this one on vellum, and then it looks like I need to do one more. Um, and then this is one of my coffee dyed papers on vellum. I don't know if you can see that this color in here is actually like the purple that's in the digital. So that's gonna be really, really pretty. So let me get this stuff out of the way because we do not need it right now at all. So. Today we're going to make an over-the-page belly band. So what I have here, as I mentioned earlier, is I, um, I have this lace or material textiles that I got at the estate sale. And I'm thinking about using these, but I think they're not going to really work for a pocket. So I, I'm just going to have to, we're going to have to play around with that and see what will work best. This lace would be perfect because it's it's sturdier and it's got you know kind of a, 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 a designated line here for the pocket so I've just got those ready and some other bits that I can pull from for decorating and putting in the pockets <clears throat> I may not do all that on camera I don't want to keep you guys too long this is more just me wanting to do a tutorial so I have some vellum to make um, the pockets because I thought if I do do pockets on here it would be good to put the lace on top of a pocket I mean on top of the vellum because it will stabilize it so if you do this then you don't have anything going into that pocket that's going to get caught so um, so we'll see if I end up doing that again it's just all a cluster <laughs> right now and this is the image these are the images that I decided on so I took one page from the my porch print summer bees kit and I'm going to use a part you know a narrower portion of each of these pieces so this is also printed on my own original coffee dyed where where do we go <laughs> coffee dyed mixed media acrylic inked paper so this is not the digital this is not the digital this is just me sticking my mixed media paper into my printer, printing the digital on it. I'm not altering the digital in any way. This is just me with my printer. So just want to be clear about that. So that's what we're going to do. That's the back of that, not so pretty. So we're going to start with deciding how wide we want our over the page belly band to be. So I'm just going to get my ruler here. And so each of these is generally five and a quarter. Yeah, about five and a quarter because I don't have the edge, as I mentioned earlier, because it's printed on coffee dyed paper, I don't have to remove this. Would, this would be the white border if this was white paper. And because I am printed on coffee dyed paper, I don't have that white border. I just have a border. So let's see how, I don't want to lose too much of our image. So I'm thinking I can go about um, 
How about we go three and a half inches? So I'm just gonna bring my cutter over here and I'm gonna start with kind of cutting this little guy off right there at the edge of that antenna. And then I'm gonna turn it around and measure it out to three and a half inches. Right there, should be about right. I'm gonna lose a little bit of that wing, but we're getting the gist of it. So there we go. So the height of this is eight and a half. We definitely don't want it that tall. So, <clears throat> so let me think about this though. So usually my pages are, whew, my journals are six by nine. So my pages are usually five and three quarters. Oh, I cannot remember. Um, that's okay, it, it doesn't matter all that much. I'm not gonna cut off all of that though. I'm just gonna cut off what would be legitimately the white border because I'm what the way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna need that little piece on the top. But I am going to, I think I'm gonna cut off the bottom. So let's see if I cut off the bottom. We will be at, I think I want to get it at eight and a quarter because that's, I believe that's how I do it. I'm not, I'm not sure, my brain is not very um, very sharp right now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it off at that line. Um, you can determine, if you decide to try this, you can determine what height and width you want yours to be. So, we don't want this to be too wide though because our widest page is five and a quarter, usually. So we don't want it to take up the whole page but I do want it to be enough to capture that beautiful image. So I'm just gonna set this on here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut off, I'm just gonna use my scissors here and cut off this, what would be the white border. I have to tell you guys, my husband is gone this weekend and I am, whew, I'm really struggling. <laughs> really struggling. I've had a very hard time um, not crying a lot. I'm not sure what that is about because this is not, you know, a new thing. I mean, I, you know, we don't spend, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week together. So I'm not sure what that is about, but I am not liking it very much at all. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and drive to the coast because our coast is is um, is only about an hour and a half from me um, on the Oregon coast. Uh, the Oregon coast is where I go, and so I think I might do that as a form of some self care. And so we'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I have been napping and I which is I mean par for the course from post surgery but just just lazing around just no motivation <laughs> I have done a lot of coffee dyeing I did another batch of this linen paper because I wanted to make sure I had some more um, to go for this project oh I cut off the wrong end dog on it okay well I think we're not even though, so let me see if I can trim that up a little bit. Just winging it, you guys. Just being real. I love that. I think those were some really good choices. Really bummed about having cut off that other part though. I cut off the wrong end on that other piece, so I'm just going to trim that off. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, well I need that again still. So I think I'm going to score this at the top about, um, about a half of an inch. So I'm going to score at a half of an inch, <clears throat> not cut, just score. So let's just get that lined up. I know you guys can't see all of this, I apologize. Um, Sometimes this this cutter or this trimmer is not very easy for me to read. I've talked to you guys about that before. I don't read rulers very well, measurements, so I'm just gonna make a mark here. That's about that. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same on this one, making sure that I get them both on the top. That would be pure silliness if I didn't. And so we're gonna score. 
at that mark. So everything with this journal is going to be very mixed media-ish. I think I mentioned that before. So um, this is just me getting my feet wet though because I am kind of out of the out of practice. So I thought I would go ahead and just try to do something a little bit simpler. I'm looking for my bone folder. It's right where it's supposed to be. I'm just going to give that a good crease. We're not going to see this underneath side, so that's I'm not worried about that. The other reason why I printed it on my coffee dyed paper is because it is 65 pound weight paper, and I didn't want this to be too flimsy. Those that other paper is way too thin for this um, this project. So hopefully those are even, even Steven. Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue those two flaps together like that okay we can do any trimming that we need to after the fact here so I'm going to use my art glitter glue because it has a quicker uh, grip hopefully it will mind me today and then I'm going to turn it this way because that's my better. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one too. It's probably overkill. You know what would be really cool is if we put a little piece of lace in there. We're going to do that really quick, which means I'm going to have to switch, switch glues. Hold on one second. I know I'm all kinds of changing my mind, <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool to kind of have this sticking up there? I will turn that off. I won't leave the whole thing on, but I'm just trying to get this kind of um, in the middle-ish. That's not in the middle, Cara Renee. Okay, let's just pull this over. Goodness sakes. Okay, so we want it to go this way, and I just want that pretty stuff at the top, right, to go in there. So I'm just trying to line it up so I have about the same on either side of that, which is not, that's not working either. Don't be concerned that it looks like I'm wasting this. I am not. I use every scrap of this stuff. So there we go. So I'm going to pull that back out. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. I can trim this off after I get this glued on. I just want that at the top, like so. I'm gonna turn it over, make sure it looks good. Oh, that's beautiful. Just need to pull this edge up a little bit. Uh-huh, pretty, pretty. Great idea. Okay, so we are gonna trim this off, this excess, because we do not need all that bulk under there. I'm already changing my plan here. Usually I come to the table with more of a plan than, than more collected than I currently am. <clears throat> there we go. Trim the rest of that off. Easy peasy. Okay. Isn't that pretty? looks about even too not too bad so now we're going to do the same here we're going to glue this piece on here so we've got it back um, wrong sides together and we're just gluing it on that flap right there okay and i'm going to put that on there and i'm going to pick it up so i can make sure i'm all lined up i want it to be even, oh, come on, Got glue all over my fingers. Ah! <laughs> Got a little wiggle room with Fabri-Tac though, so I'm not too concerned about that, but it does need to come up. There we go, so I can see by looking that I am at the same level on that, on both sides, so I'm gonna put some glue on there. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna make sure that there's no glue seeping 
here. Okay, like that. Okay. And so the way this would work, let me just get a page for you. This would go over your page like that. Like that. I think that's really lovely. I love it. Okay. So now we want pockets, don't we? So now we need to think about, do we want to put a little bit of vellum on the bottom here? Um, or just try to go straight in with the lace? I think we might be able to just go in with the lace uh, for this lace. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. And then the other thing is, do we want more than one pocket? Let's just start with one. And again, I do have to kind of play around with um, the way that I like to line those scallops up. I like to have them be as even here as possible from side to side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it here by just gluing this edge first. And I'm gonna get a piece of parchment because I wanna make sure that I don't glue anything in the inside. So I'm just gonna put that in there so that protects that. And then I think I also need to put the bead on the bottom. It looks like we're uneven, so I'll have to I'll have to trim off that bottom piece. We got a little bit off. So this does have a right side and a wrong side, so now that I've uh, it all I had it all worked out I'm just gonna cut it here goodness <clears throat> I literally like I go through my little scrap thing looking for this lace all the time but it does have a right and a wrong side so we want that side so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there and I'm having that scallop part hang over the bottom about the same as it did on the top Okay, like that. Okay, now we can glue this other edge. Bring that parchment back over again. I don't want to get any, any glue on the inside of our, of our pocket. I need to grab a paper towel. Make sure before I do that that we're we're even, even-ish. Yeah, that looks good. Just gonna give it a pat. Just helps you to not get your fingers so, so sticky. There we go. Okay, so now we can take that out and we can trim this off. Just giving it a second I spy to make sure it looks even. It does to me. But anyway, I literally, like, I save every scrap of this lace. <laughs> I need to buy some more because I'm getting low. This is all I have left. And I get it. I think I get that at um, Hobby Lobby when they have their all their lace on sale for uh, usually 40% off these days. So there we go. Okay, we're going to check our glue and see if we need more before we move on to the other other stuff. So let me grab my metal ruler. Yep. We have a pocket. We have a pocket. It's going to be a short and sweet video, you guys. So I was thinking, I was contemplating having another pocket, but I do not want to cover up that image, so we're not going to do that. But we are uneven here, so I think. Maybe we're not. We are just slightly. I wish I had compared that first. I think we need to take off about an eighth of an inch or sixteenth of an inch. I'm just going to guess. There we go. I didn't ink anything here. Um, let me grab my, my ink real quick again. Uh, so out of, out of it. I'm 
so excited about this journal though. I'm not a huge bee lover. I mean, I appreciate them. I think they're an amazing creation of God. But um, I just think that it's so fun to... Um, they're just cute, the way these creators have done them. I did pull another kit from... Um, I don't have it in front of me. I will link it, um, but I'm using two kits in this journal, not just the My Porch Prints. So that is that. Oh, we're off on this side. Dog on it. That's okay. So now we're going to do the same on this side. Same lace. Let's see if we've got enough here. Probably not. Nope. And I'm just going to open this up this time and see if we can do this a little bit differently. And this time get my lace going the right way before I start measuring things out. There we go. So we go there. Yep, there we go. Is that the right side? Or is that the right side? Like in a clear moment I can tell this is the right side. Other moments I cannot. <laughs> so get rid of that string. Okay. So now we can go ahead and I'm just going to put this under here just to protect my table. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here and across the bottom. Actually, I can probably do it all the way this time. And place this down. And again, we're just watching that. Um, that bottom edge, I want to have it be about the same as that so I can see that this part hangs down a little bit further. Again, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect science. This is just, just a journal. I probably will be selling this journal. I will keep you posted. I don't have a shop, so if I sell it, it'll just be, you know, on the side, off the cuff because I'm not selling currently, officially. So, let me go ahead and turn this around. And I think I need to go from this direction though. Sorry for all the flipping and flopping. Make you dizzy. There we go. Get that out of my way. That other lace would have been so pretty too, but it's just a little bit too floppy. Um, for that for this project so I'm just gonna trim that up okay there we go so there is our front and our back we have a pocket and a pocket so what do we have to go inside uh, what did I pull over here where did all my bits go right here so these are just things from the kit that I thought I would use. Um, we've got some little tags. These would be really gorgeous in here. So let's see what we like the best. The bestest. Oh, these bigger ones would be would be nice too. Except they need to be backed because they're too. So see how you do get a little hang up with your um, when you have a lace pocket. So it can be a little bit tricky. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with one of each of these and, and then maybe some other card or something. Oh, I also cut these out. These were some of the other images from the other kit that I printed um, uh, four to a page, I think. So let's start with these. I'm, I'm actually not going to finish this whole thing on camera. You can see what I do at the end because I need to... Uh, in the photos rather I'm sorry um, but I do need to back all these tags and then I'll put some seam binding on them and I'll probably put some other little bits like one of these these little writing cards or something like that and then I cut these out I'm going to be using these a lot in this journal I have this um, punch and um, so I think I'm going to do some some work with them um, create like a maybe a you know journal card or tags or something with them by doing that so I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight for now. Um, 
stay tuned, look at the photos at the end, and you can see how I completed these, uh, this over the page pocket belly band. So the way that it would be a belly band, you guys, is if you wanted it to be, it doesn't have to be a belly band, it can just be over the page pockets, but if you wanted it to be a belly band, you would just glue it, you'd put a bead of glue along the bottom here and attach it. And then you'd have, which I probably will do because it's much more versatile. So this will be an over the page belly band pocket thing. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.